Hey everybody, how's it going? Everybody's playing with their induction systems these days, so I thought I'd do mine. Um, I have this Nick Williams 102 millimeter throttle body I was attempting to install, and I ran into a couple of glitches, of course. First being, when I have the throttle body mounted right into the intake manifold, uh, my problem is the um, throttle lever here is hitting the water pump housing. Cool. Uh, right over here. So it's hitting it and it's keeping the th throttle flap open and I don't know a couple thou maybe 20 thou or so, but it's unacceptable So and I ran into that problem and another problem I ran into because originally I had the Chinese 102 millimeter throttle body on it and it had thinner mounting flange bosses so This is a lot thicker. So the second thing I realized is now my throttle body bolts are too short so I got to look for longer bolts. And um, I also ordered a ITC half inch, 102 millimeter spacer. So the whole throttle body is going to come out another half inch. So I'm going to need bolts that are, I guess, three quarters of an inch longer than the original ones I have now. I haven't measured them yet, so I'm not sure exactly. So I want to, that'll solve that issue. The only, uh, the other thing I don't like is this throttle bracket. I don't like the idea that it's mounted, sandwiched in between the, um, oh, bolt fell down, sandwiched between the throttle body and the intake manifold. This spacer I have here is a 92 millimeter to 102 millimeter spacer, so when you open the throttle flap, it doesn't bind. And in between that, there's the 102 millimeter bracket that's the throttle cable bracket. But, lo and behold, See if I could get this thing off here. I got a couple of bolts holding it on. Anyways, uh, I don't know if you guys could see it. Probably not. I can't even see it. It's behind the bracket. Um, Nick Williams throttle bodies have a little hole in the back, and they have they actually have their own throttle body bracket, which I didn't know about because I ended up ordering the one that I got on here now, which is uh, be honest with you, the flange. In my opinion, the flange is too small, so it can leak. See if I could get this off, the bolt's holding it. Push down on the bolt. She doesn't want to come out. This side doesn't want to come out. It's a pretty tight fit. Anyways, I wish I could get the stupid thing out. Come on. Well, let me see here. I don't want to knock everything down. See if I can get the bolts out. Get in there. This is finicky stuff. There she goes. It's just kind of binding. I think it's coming. Come tight, loose, tight, loose, tight, loose. See if I can get at the bottom one here. I think she's coming up now. Yeah, okay. Sorry for the little bit of a shake there on the phone. So. This is off. It's got a nice round rubber O-ring seal around it that seals against the BTR, or sorry, BTR. Seals against the Nick Williams throttle body. And then there's an O-ring seal on the intake manifold. Oops, there goes the bolts. So I really don't like the way they designed this. I'm um, looking at the throttle body here. So it should have a mounting boss for their, there it is. There's, so there's a mounting boss there for their throttle body cable bracket. So I think I'm gonna convert this one because it's actually two pieces, if you look at it. You got the, uh, I should have never bought this thing. It's kind of a nuisance with putting gaskets there when you got nice O-rings. It's two pieces, so this, the uh, part where the actual throttle cable hooks up is bolted onto Another part that's 
pretty well one piece that goes around the throttle body. So I'm gonna have to just cut this thing. You can actually see the line. I'm gonna actually cut it right at that line. That's the part that's exposed. And remove this whole round part. And then MIG or TIG weld another piece onto this thing to make it a little longer and then just drill a hole through it. And I can mount it onto the uh, Nick Williams throttle body in the back. And I will not have this uh, bracket that's in between all the seals with these little thin rubber gaskets, which I don't know. Maybe it's okay, maybe it's not. Personally, I don't like it. I'd rather have flat aluminum against O-ring, flat aluminum against O-ring, and you got a great seal. Instead of having that metal bracket in between there and a gasket. I don't like it. I don't think it's uh, the best way to go. They sell them on eBay. I bought it on eBay. I had no idea that Nick Williams sold a throttle bracket that would screw right onto the back of their throttle body. And I didn't know I was gonna buy a Nick Williams throttle body because originally I had the 102 millimeter Chinese one, which wasn't very impressive. And it's 19 degrees Celsius outside. Beautiful, everything's melting and I'm waiting for the spacer. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I'd give you guys an update on what was going on. Hopefully I get the thing in about a week. eBay's really slow with their shipping, China Bay. At least I see T bullet bracket or uh, spacers made in the USA. So I'm happy. All right, waiting for that to come in. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon.